September 2021. It's a Tuesday morning, a day that the Lord has made, and you and I will rejoice and be glad in it. It's another opportunity to listen and to speak with you on Commanding Your Morning um, from the number one business radio, Brushwood Radio. I am Semo Sinachi, and I say welcome to Commanding Your Morning this beautiful Tuesday morning. I'm sure you had a wonderful night rest yesterday night, and I'm sure and I believe God that you are up and grateful. Yes, you were strong and energized for the day. Very quickly on Commanding Your Morning this morning, we will be looking at a topic, Day That Wait. Day That Wait. Day That Wait. We will be exploring what are the things that happens to those who wait and who are we waiting on. I'm going to be explaining some of these things in a short while. Day That Wait. You see, in this present time, a lot of persons are under pressure to manifest. They want to quickly get to that um, place where they are going to. Probably some of them have been shown a vision or a revelation about who they are. And then they want to fast track. They want to make everything quick. They want to just get there early enough according to their own time. But then God is saying this morning that the fastest way to get to where you are going to it's not by running, it's not by flying, it's not by diving, it's by waiting. The fastest way to get to the top is by waiting. And waiting has to be on the right person. Not waiting on your father, not waiting on your connection, not waiting on the commissioner, not waiting on the president, not waiting on the governor, not waiting on that person that you think has a link to where you are going to. But then, waiting on the Lord. Waiting is the fastest place to get to where you're going to. <laughs> if, you, if you look at the, the life of Elijah, Elijah in the Bible, when he made the declaration that there is no going to be rain <laughs> for three and a half years, okay, he made that pronunciation. Elijah is already a prophet. But then when he made that pronunciation, God had to pull him out of the public and push him into a sacred place. And there God asked him, hey, guy, you have to wait. <laughs> you have to wait here. It's not yet time. You were too quick, Elijah. Come inside. God pulled him into the sacred place. He said, come on. Come on, wait. And then when Elijah waited, we could see that after Elijah came out from his sacred place, God empowered him. And the Bible said that the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah, that he ran. Elijah ran on foot. And then the best chariot in Israel at that time, the chariot of King Ahab. Elijah ran on foot and he outran the best chariot. Can you imagine? That is what happens when you wait. And when you wait, on who? On the Lord. Let's look at the Bible, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. The scripture says here, that I'm going to read the King James Version. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They will run and not be grow weary, and they will walk and they will not faint. They that wait upon the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord. Now, let me start and um, let me go back a little bit and give us the reason why God is saying they that wait. Because man naturally has the tendency to wear out. But then it is only God. It is only God that can do all the things that mentioned in that verse and then will not be tired. And so God wants to build men in his own image. He already created us, but then he wants to make us in his own image. 
He said to Pharaoh, he said in, um, to, um, to Moses in Exodus chapter 7, verse 1 and 2, he said, See, I have made you a god unto Pharaoh. Let me tell you, the princes and the powers on this earth, they are the Pharaoh that we are confronting. And so God wants to make you listening to me right now via the mobile app and you're watching me live right now on Facebook and I myself talking with you, God wants to make me and you. God wants to make us gods over Pharaoh. There is a Pharaoh in your family. There is a Pharaoh in your workplace. There is a Pharaoh in every area you go, whether you like it or not. And the only way that you can go, that you can pull through is when you confront the Pharaoh. Whether you look for somebody's trouble or not, there will always be a Pharaoh. So far that you are doing the right thing, there will always be an opposition. And so God is wanting this morning to build men to become gods. Yes, you have been made God. By default, you are a God. But then, because you are on earth, certain things have made you forgotten your heritage. And so this morning, God is saying, hey, I want to make you a God that you are already. I want to make you a God. Just like the, the seed becomes a tree. Before the, the, the seed becomes a tree, it has to be planted. And when it's planted, it has to die before it germinates. The same thing, that seed has the capacity to become a tree. But if it is not planted, it can never be a tree. The same thing God is doing this morning. You are already a tree, but then you are still in the seed form. So God wants to plant you into the soil this morning so that you grow from becoming a man into becoming a God. Follow me as I follow Christ. <laughs> All right, so let's go. If we look at from verse 28, it said, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. Look at it. The first thing he said, he will not grow tired or weary. Man grows tired and weary. But God will not grow tired and weary. And his understanding, no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. All of these weaknesses God is pointing out, is they are the weaknesses that can be found in man, but they don't exist in God. And so God is saying, hello, you are struggling, you are doing all of the things you're doing, and there is no result coming out according to you because you are still in the form of man. He wants you to become a God so that all of these weaknesses can be wiped away. Let's continue. Verse 30 says, even youths grow tired, no matter how energized or how strong, even if you have your six packs or your Akbobi, if it is evil guys, you grow weary. So far, you are a young person, even <laughs> you grow weary and you grow tired. And young men stumble and fall. Ha! Young men stumble and fall. And then in verse 31, he now gives us what he wants us to become. He said, but they that wait upon the Lord. Now he now starts addressing these weaknesses in man that is not found in God. God wants to make you a God, not a capital G-O-D, but a small G-O-D because even Peter said, the book of Peter said, we are small gods. Hello? Are you, are you crying this morning because there are challenges around you, shaking you and God is looking at you and saying, oh, I made you a God, but why are you still remaining in the seed form as a man? Growing to God. Come on. And then verse 31 says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. That's the first thing that happens to men. Men, their strength needs renewal. In order for you to go to the next level, your strength has to be renewed. And you can't go to the next level without you becoming that God that God wants you to be. He said to Pharaoh, he said to Moses, I want you to go to Canaan, the land where I have prepared for you, but you have to confront Pharaoh. But then before you confront Pharaoh, you have to be a God. And so this morning, God is telling us, the things that are making us limited as men, that he can do it. He can convert you from being a man to being a God. And how is it going to happen is a very simple thing. Wait. Just wait. When the Israelites were confronted with a very serious case that they didn't know what to do after Moses had gone, he said to them, <laughs> he said, stand still. Be still and know that I am God. But 
Okay, so this morning God wants to make you a God. He wants to make you a God so that you can speak according to his word through your mouth to that Pharaoh standing in front of you. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Eagles don't fly, they soar. And how do they soar? They just spread their wings and then they go in the direction of the wind. Not like other birds that, that do like this and then after some time they are tired. They can't go as high as the eagle. But because the eagle depends on the strength of the wind, that's why it can soar. So if you depend on the strength of the Spirit of God this morning, I don't see any height that you can soar to. <laughs> Whether there are a lot of demons pursuing you, but the moment you mount up your wings on the like that of an eagle and the Spirit of God carries you, he carries you to the height where the birds cannot get to you. Cannot get to you. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. You will run and you will not be weary. Elijah ran. Elijah with two legs outran a four-legged chariot, the best chariot in Israel two legs he ran and he didn't grow weary they shall walk and not faint they shall walk and not faint in fact the children of israel they walked on foot from egypt to canaan on foot they did not die in fact the bible said that their sandals for 40 years did not chop some of us you trek from here to from where you are to maybe a kilometer and then you look at your shoe you see that it has chopped <laughs> And some of you will buy one bag of pure water because you are already tired. But God is saying, hey, I want to make you a God here on earth. And how do you achieve that? You have to wait. And what do you gain when you wait upon the Lord? Not waiting upon your father or your mother or that connection that you think that can help you get to where you're going to. But when you wait upon the Lord, he will, number one, one thing that you will do is he will renew your strength. You will no longer be running on your strength. Your strength will be renewed automatically by the Spirit of God. And number two thing is that you will mount up with wings as eagles. You will mount up. You will just spread your wings and then he would soar. You will soar in the direction of the Spirit of God. You will no longer struggle flying like every other bird. But what you will just do is to soar. Spread your wings like an eagle and then you soar in the direction of the wind of the spirit. And the next thing that will happen to you is that you will run and not be weary. And then you shall walk and not faint. Sometimes when I look at the, 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 the likes of um, Papa E.A. Adeboye, like look at the lives of um, Bishop T.D. Jakes, look at the likes of um, um, Papa David Oyedepo, these men have capacities. Imagine one man running four universities and running different um, things, writing books, and yet he's not tired. At 67 o'clock, 67 yesterday, when I look at this man, I'm like, oh my God, this man is no longer a man. He's a God. <laughs> because you can't do all of the things that these fathers are doing as a man. You will collapse. But then when you do them waiting on God, when they tell you how they waited, when they tell you the stories of how they waited, you will know that yes, what they are doing, they are no longer doing it in the capacities of men, but they are doing it in the capacities of God. Are you there listening to me right now or watching me and you're saying, come on, I just have two companies, I'm already tired. There are men who are running companies up to five and they are running church services up to five. They are running campgrounds and they are running a lot of um, seminars and doing great things, yet they are not weary. You can be part of those men. You can be a part of those gods. <laughs> Just wait upon the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I don't know where you are running to. I beg you this morning, stop and wait. Wait upon the Lord. Wait. Wait in prayers. Wait in fasting. Wait in worship. Wait in service. And you will see that gradually you will become like God. And then you will now live having dominion like he has said in Genesis. God bless you for listening to me. Join me tomorrow again for commanding your morning on your number one business radio broadcast.
Patrick Radio. Coming up next is the news update on your number one business radio, Brushwick Radio. Do well to follow us on all our social media platforms. Follow and like our page on Facebook at Brushwick Radio NG. Join the conversations on our Instagram handle at Brushwick Rap. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Brushwick Radio NG on YouTube. And our website is www.brushwickradio.com. You can reach us via WhatsApp in our studio here through the number 0809. 7910074 0809 7910074 and for sponsorship and advert placement on Brush Street Radio the numbers to call are 0809 7910073 or 0803436100 you could also do a mail to hello at brushstreetradio.com or you visit our office at number 58 slash 60 Brush Street in Lagos Island Medifi House is the beauty Thank you for listening to Samu Sinochi on Commanding Your Morning this beautiful Tuesday morning on your number one business radio, Broad Street Radio. I'll be back in a jiffy for the news update. Don't go anywhere because it's still Broad Street Radio, your number one.